<clears throat> Obviously, the story for us, uh, unfortunately, was the first half again. Um, played a poor first half, both ends, and um, and they played well, obviously, and and that was uh, more than we could we could recover from. I thought we uh, did some nice things in the second half. Um, incredible performance by Jamel Artis. Um, I, I thought that we found a way to finally become the aggressor, which uh, that's kind of the challenge. And anytime you you play a team like Louisville, is you have to find a way to, to become the aggressor and and. Um, uh, we we found found that a little bit after halftime, and um, but it wasn't it wasn't enough. So um, we we've got to do a better job in some areas, and and uh, um, uh, but you know our, our guys hung in there and they kept playing, and and um, uh, I'm, I'm certainly proud of them for that. And the uh, struggles on defense, I mean, how much did that carry over to the offense? Because it kind of allowed them to press a little bit when they were hitting their shots. Yeah, um, you know, I, I didn't, I'm good. Uh, the, the press, um, you know, they, they, did, they did something that they really haven't done uh, most of the year. They pressed differently, and, and, and they played, they, they were playing some zone and then going man in the middle of possession. They hadn't, they hadn't done a lot of that we we actually practiced against it we we anticipated that they might um and um unfortunately we didn't um i, I didn't think that our our movement and our cutting was was what it needed to be uh we we stood and waited on the ball to come to us instead of um uh instead of exploring holes and and putting them at disadvantages but uh you got to give them credit they're they're obviously a very good team um very long their length is 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 really uh formidable and so um uh, we'll, we'll just have to figure out a, a better way to play next time we play them, I guess. What do you think made Artis so effective? Um, he's good. That's one thing. Um, and um, he's just a good player, and he's very skilled. He's got great size. Um, he's he's completely unaffected by any environment, and um, um, he's just got a lot of. A, a lot of competitiveness to him and, and, and a lot of toughness to him as it pertains to that. So um, none, none of us are surprised to see him play uh, really well. And, and, um, but that was, that was impressive, I thought. So uh, this was the uh, second straight game, Kevin, where you all, where you all fell behind a really sizable deficit there in the first 10, 12 minutes. You know, between this game and the Syracuse game, did you notice any kind of common threads? Uh, yeah, we weren't good on offense and we weren't good on defense. Um, th th those were the commonalities in, in, uh, in, in both games. And um, uh, we, we had trouble uh, running good offense. Um, we got hurt in, in transition a few times. Uh, we got hurt on the boards a few times, and then they made some shots. So um, I thought we played better defensively in the second half, um, and I thought we played with a little more aggression. And, and um, again, uh, you have to try to find a way um, when, when you play a team like, like them to become the aggressor. And, and we were able to do that for uh, much of the second half, I thought, but, but not, that wasn't enough. What was the adjustment you really did in the second half offensively you know, that really made the difference? Uh, we started driving the ball a little bit more and um, got them in some, some fouls and got to where we got to the line. If we'd have made some free throws, it might have been a good game. Um, but um, um, we got them, got to the bonus pretty early, got to the double bonus pretty early and, um, and, and drove the ball. And, and um, instead of you know, being tentative or casual or, or whatever, we, we were aggressive and assertive, and, and, um, and that made a big difference for us. Coach, with the league being so tough this year, you just have tough games back to back to back. How do you get the team refocused? Well, it's, it's, it's like this every night, and, and um, uh, you have to play good or better. Okay, you can't play average and win in this league, or we can't. And, and so, um, uh, and you, you just there's 18 of them, and and you can't you can't dwell on on a win, you can't dwell on a loss. I know that sounds like coach speak, and and uh, uh, players are generally a little better at that than, than coaches are. But you can't you can't. I mean, we play Miami Saturday at noon. We have no time. We have no time to have to try to figure out why we didn't play better in the first half, and and um, and and try to be better on Saturday. Was it an energy thing? Early? No, we were we were playing we were playing pretty hard. Um, they were just they were just better than us. 
you know, they were just playing better and and um, you know I thought we had some good looks early in the game. I thought the first ten minutes of the game I thought we had some pretty good looks and. Um, uh, I remember had Cam had a couple, Mike had a couple, Sheldon had a couple, um, but the only one that really consistently threw it in until later in the game was was Jamel, and then Mike made some there in the second half there a little bit. Um, yeah, it wasn't Mike's best night, but um, it probably wasn't going to be anybody's best night the way Jamel was going, so. Um, Mike was fine. Mike Mike played hard. He competed. Played hard on defense. Um, you know they're they're long. You know I don't know if their length bothered us bothered him. I, I don't I don't know. But um, you know certainly they uh, uh, they did a good job on him and and they did a good job on all of us really especially in the first half. Well, what do you take away from the two games like this in the series? Where you guys Well, again, you, you have to be consistent, and and we talked about this in the non-conference. I mean, you, you were there in post-game press conferences when when we talked about I talked about need, needing to play closer to 40 minutes, and and um, it was good enough for us to win most of our our non-conference games. But that's not that's not the way it is in this league. So um, uh, we we just have to be more consistent. Um, but again. The way Syracuse shot, shot the ball on, on on Saturday, I'm not sure that anyone would have would have beaten them. Um, I would have liked to have seen our defense make them miss a little bit more, but the way they the way they shot the ball, uh, I, I, seriously, I don't think anybody in the league would have beaten them that day. Um, not a lot of people are going to come in here and win. They're just not. And, and so, uh, I'm not uh, I'm not all up in arms about the fact that we've lost you know a couple games in a row where we didn't play well. Um, we have to continue to get better. We knew that we're, we're not a we're not a finished product. We know that too. But um, but our guys battle. Our guys our guys do play hard. They they do keep competing. And and so um, uh, three four we've got fourteen left. We have fourteen of them left. <laughs> so it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it, you, we've we've got fourteen left. And and. Uh, we'll we'll play the next one Saturday and and count them up at the end and hope that hope that we did well enough. Anybody else? Thank you.